Lindsay, nice to catch up with you. It's been a while since I've seen you, and so much has happened in your life. Give us a synopsis. Oh, in my life? <laughs> oh, gosh. Luckily, uh, no one cares anymore about no. my life. But uh, we've got three kids now, four, two, and four months, and um, doing a lot of TV and playing very little. But I love to watch it, and I've uh, been a big fan of tennis my whole career, and uh, feel very lucky I still uh, get to follow it. Let's talk about the kids. <laughs> How much do you enjoy motherhood compared to your playing days? Oh, it's just it's so different. So different, yeah. and it's it's not really that comparable. I mean, um, I've always I've always wanted to be a mom, and uh, it's been a dream come true. We couldn't be happier, um, and so much less um, internal stress. You know, I worry about them, and I worry about their well-being, but um, I feel like just overall, like a, a weight is lifted off when you're playing a professional sport. There's obviously every day there's there's something you're worried about, either working hard enough or your yeah. diet or what to go do. And um, I feel very lucky and fortunate that I've been able to transition to life after um, being a top level athlete and, and be pretty happy. Well, was it difficult that transition initially? You know, for me, it, it hasn't been. It's, you know, you get your moments where you're, you, you get, you remember things or you get these glimpses, but I hear a lot of other um, worse stories and mm -hmm. people that really struggle with it. And, and, and sure, sometimes you, you watch players walk out for a Wimbledon final, Wimbledon semifinal, big match, and um, you remember going back there. I wish that, like most athletes do, while you're going through those moments and while you have that 10 or 15 year career, you're, you were you are more present. Um, but at the end of the day, if I could have scripted my life, it would have uh, would be exactly like it is. Really? Are you a strict mom? I am, yeah, I'm definitely the strict parent of, really? uh, of the household, yeah. <laughs> There's no question about that. So they go to daddy when they don't get their way with you? Um, they, they actually, not too much. They don't go behind our, they're not smart enough to go behind our backs right. yet. They're still, um, they take the parent who's with them and, and they do take their word for it. But, um, you know, I just was away from them for like a week and that's the most I've ever been away. And they get here and like my son's talking funny and they're, you know, the whole thing, I'm like, Excuse me, <laughs> like where did this come from? My husband's just like, I do the best I can, <laughs> you know, when you're gone. But um, definitely, there's uh, the the parent I think that's with them every day is definitely the more that has the one that has to set the rules and the guidelines. Yeah, I mean, the, okay, the baby's four months, but mm -hmm. uh, are the other two very different or very similar to them to each other? And to what about yeah, to the two of you? Extremely different. And it's what's fascinating as their development goes. My my oldest is a boy, and the middle's a girl, and the baby's a girl. But the oldest and the middle one, they do not get along. <laughs> Really? Like just from day one, I've never. Really? I mean, they'll coexist, but there's no real like huge bond there. And then this baby comes, and my son is just infatuated with her. <laughs> like the baby has to go everywhere with us, and he, you know, she's got to take him to school and watch him do this. And he could care less about his other sister. Just kind of um, forgets about her. But uh, it'll be interesting. I always, am, I'm curious when they get older if that changes. It stays the same, and um, personalities are completely different. My daughter's very, very sharp. My son's a little little bit uh, slower in that department, but um, they're, they're takes great. It easy. Yeah, takes it easy. Takes it as it he's comes. He's a little bit more relaxed about, about <laughs> certain things, but um, you know, my son plays tennis, which we love, and we get to um, try and teach him that, and does a lot of sports, and they keep us busy, that's for sure. When you come through to the tournaments, and you're doing Tennis Channel, and you're doing other jobs, um, how much fun is it to catch up with the girls that you played with? It is. It, it's fun for me the second week when, like you said, the girls I actually competed against. I There's a few still playing that I was close to, but not many. Mm -hmm. a, and you realize just how much older you get in each generation that goes by. And um, it's been fun to commentate on, on the ones that I did play against, the ones that are still playing. Um, but it's fun, especially like the second week in, in the Grand Slams when I play the seniors. It's fun to catch up with Hingis and uh, Natasha Zareva, who I've played with many times. There's so many of them. Um, it's interesting to see where everyone is now in life. And w when you do play the uh, old ladies tennis, yeah. let's call it that. Yeah. Um, how much of, do, are you as competitive as, as you were? I'm not. Really? I'm Just not. fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I have to, uh, I've been playing with Hinga, so I have to kind of keep it mellow because she's very, <laughs> very good and very competitive. Um, but no, I, I I'm happy to be out there and and I was always like that if like in practice or in exhibitions like I would never win I'm able to turn that off and um, in this the same thing 
<laughs> You're looking great. Uh, thanks. Some days. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting some sleep here, so it's a little better. So the baby's not here with you? The baby is not here, which is really hard, but um, I go home and then we all come back for, you know, 17, 18 days in London and she'll be with me the rest of the year, but uh, definitely a tough trip here without, without her. The other two are here. Lindsay, great to catch up. Thanks oh, thank very you. much. Huh.